honestly, we did not pay attention. Mm. We work in the same, with the same people in the same place for fine art as for advertising or point of purchase, whatever, using the same people. We had a direct, con it was... Just another like job then. Just, just another, another job. job. Right. Okay. Of course, it's more difficult because you have to be involved yourself personally with the artist himself and you have to be like a chameleon. I explained that in some conference about fine art. Yes, uh, I yeah. think uh, last year I, I, I in Russia or here. I remember here. Anyway, in it's a special thing, but no. Uh, I can say like Andy Warhol himself in the factory in New York, it, he has the same feeling. The print were on the floor, laying on the floor, people walking on it, you see. Maculate there wouldn't too. be walking on them now, would they? <laughs> we have that. No, absolutely no. Uh, uh, it goes so far that sometimes when I see in a museum or gallery something I printed years ago, I think I printed more than 2,000 uh, original editions, I'm surprised to see it framed on a wall. It's in, I say, okay, I remember, I print that. Funny, you see. But when we print, when we work with the people, uh, Dali, Salvador Dali, for example, was very, very easy to work with. Because when he, he was a technician, and when we do work on a print, no problem. It was simple, clear, uh, clever. It was very really interesting. But when two people came from outside, he started to play Salvador Dali, you know, as he did that time. Yeah, I mean, obviously working with famous artists is one thing, but equally you've worked with some fantastically, you know, well-known brands. I mean, some of your work. Uh, that's also, uh, that's another, uh, another story. No, no, so, yeah, but I mean, you, 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 you've been fortunate in that you, you've worked with, um, as I say, such some really you know, top, top, top known brands. And, and, uh, the basic idea was to learn from the artist, me, of course, and my people, the sense of what is beautiful, what is art, what is interesting, what is efficient, and to transfer that knowledge to normal print, industrial print, commercial, commercial print, advertising. And at the contrary, the other phase was to use the technology I developed in half tone without dots and that kind of things for industrial purpose to the artist. So it was a kind of back and reverse. Mm. So we had to make extremely difficult, fine work. Uh, I remember in the 90s, some people say screen printing cannot do four color process. We were printing on five lines of press, four color. 95% of our job was four color, five really? color process. Very fine line. And of course, we, as we could produce very beautiful backlighted job for a, a point of purchase, or we had, and thanks Teres, my wife, for this, because she really brings those people also to appreciate what we were doing. It means that we have been working with people like Dior, like Rochas, perf the biggest perfumery affair, Chanel, uh, and also the luxury people like uh, Louise Vuitton, for example. Almost naturally, see? Because we, we could do what the other could, could not do. For example, Chanel wanted to have banners of one meter point sixty printed with 200 lines, not printed with big dots like yeah. billboard, you see. So we called to that and we did that. That's, that was also a very exciting and challenging job, a very big job. At the moment, in the, between uh, two, 2000 and 2005, we printed all the windows for Vuitton in the world. So it was very interesting.